Recently, Gorham High School has become a major topic in the media after Principal Chris Record sent out a letter to parents and students. The letter outlined that this year Gorham will be having a homecoming bonfire instead of a dance due to inappropriate grinding that the students have been participating in. Many media outlets have weighed in on the subject, including CNN, New York Daily News, and the Portland Press Herald. We decided to go straight to the sources and interview teachers and students to figure out what they have to say about this topic. If you were to look at the letter that I sent out to parents and students and has appeared all over the place in media, uh, it explains that there's been a long process to try to improve dance culture at Gorham High School. It involves school council, it involves student council, it involves other administrators and teachers in this building. So there's a lot of conversation and a lot of efforts to improve the culture. Uh, and unfortunately, the dance culture in the United States and in Maine is so pervasive and powerful that it's been hard for us to manage. Um, and I'm sorry about that, but it's hard for me to admit that. But uh, we reached a boiling point where it's just dancing and schools, as dancing is now, don't match. Um, and we needed to try something different. In June, sorry, in June I went to student council and talked about trying something different for homecoming. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was then or in August we talked about a bonfire mm -hmm. as a way to uh, get people together, have fun, have it in a safe way, and kind of build some excitement around the football game and how to gather together. Student Council also thought of the idea of having a parade of different student groups at halftime during the football game to try to make it about everybody mm -hmm. um, rather than just the football team. Yeah. I really think that it's hard for people who've not been here to talk about events that are taking place here. Um, one of the things I said to one of my classes today is that I wish some of these people who think what is being done is unfair that they had been here to see some of the dances and, and what was going on. I don't, I don't exactly know what the correct solution is, but if we can't keep the kids following the rules we have here, then we can't keep having functions like that. It's, you know, it's unfortunate that it's being sort of splashed around and um, uh, looked at on a sort of real black and white scale. You know, people don't really consider what it what it means to be in charge of a thousand people every day. And so they they sort of make light of some of the decisions that have to be made. And I think it's not very flattering of our school, which in general has a pretty good reputation. And we're just kind of getting screwed over by this one thing that. I think got dredged up out of the past. I thought we were done with it last year. Now it's back. Any thoughts and feelings about how we're doing? I think it's just stupid. Yeah, it, they're making a bigger deal out of it than it needs to be. I mean, it's not really that important. Do you plan on going to the homecoming fire? I do. I think it sounds like fun. Um, probably not. Probably not. I originally wasn't going to uh, to begin with. Um, it's usually it's not what I like to do for fun for the most part. No. I think I'm gonna go to the bonfire because the people who are running it are friends of mine, and like I don't want them to go through all this work and not have anybody show up at this thing they've planned hard. Because they really are trying to give us something, so we should take what we can get and not push the envelope. Last question is just to verify the VHS was a typo. Yes, and it's a good lesson for all of us. I edited my my writing, and I I thought I wrote VH1, uh, but it came out as VHS, which is kind of funny. And some of my colleagues have joked with me about it, but I think the message is still the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was MTV and VH1, yes. and there's probably stations I don't even know about and probably stuff on YouTube, and probably stuff on Twitter that I have no idea about. But all of that influences our culture. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>